All right, I was patrolling the property today and realized I had a first generation night vision monocular. This is made by Yukon, and I think I picked it up like 20 years ago. But uh, it's made in Russia and it says NV MT424024. I don't know, maybe that's a serial number, but it definitely says made in Russia on there. Then I have an AGM PVS 14. This is generation three in white phosphorus here. So I think AGM is Chinese and this is Russian and <laughs> I do like my old uh, night vision goggle because you know it comes, you know, I got a, a Russian purse four on my on my weapon here. So we're gonna take a look at both of these um, under natural light and under IR light. We have about 10% loom tonight. So we're just gonna point the goggles at my old truck here and see what we can see. All right, let's start with the first generation uh, Yukon brand and we'll we'll hit it with the IR flood and we'll just be staring at my old truck here. So I'm gonna turn out the lights and see what happens. All right, I can see a little bit of my house light. I'm gonna turn the IR light on the... All right, that ain't too bad. That's using the first generation night vision with the IR light that's actually built in uh, to the monocular here. All right, I'll turn on the floodlight next. All right, I'm gonna take my first gens for a walk here. I'm using the built-in IR light on my first gen monoculars. And I can see in front of me, I can't see too far out. I know there's trees in front of me. All right, not too bad really working with the built-in IR light if you were standing in front of me you wouldn't know I was coming so these things are really working all right that's first generation night vision monocular that's using the floodlight from my rifle there and as you can see you can see in the dark <laughs> not too bad okay we get a third generation PBS 14 and white phosphor going uh, next I'm having a hard time with this but this is a third generation PVS 14 tube and white phosphor and it is looking way better I see my house lights on I don't think I saw those with the gen wood I'm looking over here at my truck all right we will try the IR light on the weapon next that's using the IR surefire light off the third generation white phosphor tube and you can see it's it's pretty good it's way better than the first gen oh yeah that's pretty awesome all right this is the agm third generation and white phosphor with a gopro jammed up against it and <laughs> see my shop lights coming through a little better than the first generations did Let's take a look at my house i don't have any any lights on i think the lights from the windows are coming through the stove or something so there is no ir light being used i'm going to turn on the ir illuminator and see how good it's going to work then all right i got the ir illuminator on and this works good for spotting animals, especially those nocturnal animals. All you can see is their eyes. It also works for like close up or when you go to a building, you need some sort of light, whether it's the moon like right now or, you know, your infrared light. So if you go into a building, you're gonna need that infrared light. This is not too bad. I really like these third generation white phosphorus monoculars. All right, we saw what they see. And I think the moral of the story here is that first generation night vision goggles, if you have a pair, don't get rid of them. You can buy you an IR floodlight from like a Humvee or something, <laughs> you know, po post them on the motion sensors of your house and you can see in the dark. That's all you need to do. Um, the Gen 3s, they're, they're pretty awesome. But uh, it's all about the infrared light. So um, if you got you some infrared light and most, you know, motion detector cameras do, then these Gen 1s are going to work fine for you to see people. 